As you can see, I'm here at Salford Keys, ready to take on my trial of open water swimming. Now, if you think going to the swimming baths with your mate was a bit cold, then you certainly don't want to try this. I've been challenged to swim 750 metres in that. Open water swimming is just fantastic for everybody. It's all ages, it's all sizes, it's all swim abilities too. It's social, it's for training, we get people from all, all neck of the woods that come down here. Um, it's, there's real energy about open water swimming, it's growing year by year, so it's, it's just fantastic. The smiles on people's faces when they come out of the water. We've got people from the Man Tri Club, Nuts for Tri Club that come down and swim with us. We get people that are training for GB events and for the qualifiers. We also get people, to them, that are you know, competitive, is just a great swim. I actually started swimming open water about four years ago after a spinal injury so my physio recommended actually starting pool swimming which I took up and then set my sights on the great swim which I did for charity and then just loved it ever since. So people can just come down on the day and sign up as a non-member and to come and have a chat with myself or Dave Quarterman who runs it um, and actually we'll talk them through the first time in open water or you can just join up online, get your membership and still come and have a chat and just, just come down and enjoy it, try it out. Okay, so Kate, today you're going to be swimming 750 metres of our open water course, which is swimming to the left-hand side of the boys, beyond the bridge and back round. Right, enough chat, Kate. Time to get in the water. I've got my hat, I've got my goggles, and I've got a wetsuit. I think it's time for me to get going. The water here at Salford Keys is around 14 degrees Celsius. That's 17 degrees colder than a normal indoor swimming pool. I decided to go for the safe option and wear a wetsuit, giving me both warmth and buoyancy when swimming. Getting into the water is terrible, getting out is fantastic. <laughs> Somewhere in between it was good. <laughs> so tips for you for when you're getting in, good one is to wet your face with the water, then your body starts adjusting to the temperature. Get some in your wetsuit and then give it a little bit of a shimmy. Your body almost like starts expecting what it's going to basically be getting into. Right, okay, so where am I looking to go out on the course today? You're going to be swimming the 750 metre course. So you're going to be heading up beyond the bridge. Beautiful scenes of uh, Manchester around. So you're going okay. to keep your voice to your left hand side, swim anti-clockwise round, and that's your short half a mile for you. Right, okay, so it's right to the blue boy over there. Yeah, blue boy beyond the bridge. <laughs> not far then, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> right, thank you very much. No um, worries. Best get on with it. Absolutely, good luck. Than you think. Um, I think the hardest bit is definitely when you get halfway around, you start to feel your body just slowly going in a slow motion and getting like freezing cold. My arms started to move, my fingers and my toes went numb. And then about halfway, you know, coming back, I saw a lot of fish and I was like, oh god, as soon as you see the fish, like I think they were about that big, um, I just seemed to see them everywhere that clearly weren't there, but I did see some, I promise. I'm not making it up. <laughs> Um, brilliant though, I definitely think everyone should get involved. It's an amazing opportunity and um, get involved, it's so much fun. Now if I've done my bit and if you've been inspired by my challenge and want to get involved with Usim in Manchester and Cheshire, then you can join their website or look on Facebook and Twitter to join in with the fun. This is Kate Troy, Key TV News.